What if I told you that you could float midair, jump near infinitely, teleport instantly, and much, much more, all in survival Minecraft? What? 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 How did he do that? What? He just started floating. What the heck? No, you guys no, are no, hacking. No, no. What? What? To understand this, let's go back to the start. It's November 26, 2022, and Planet Nord just uploaded a video. From the start, something is off. Planet is pulling off crazy stunts, but this video isn't showing multiple glitches. It's all one huge exploit. This glitch has a power to confuse players, destroy servers, and it can even cause you to have so much power over the others that you'd be basically unstoppable. The way this glitch works is by basically pausing your game, making anything that happens around you happen only after you unpause. In single player, pausing your game stops everything and everyone around you, but most importantly, it stops your own movement. So if you fall off a cliff and pause, you can stay floating. On multiplayer, this doesn't happen though, unless you use this glitch. This gives players the ability to throw themselves off cliffs and simply pause your game, making it look to any bystander like they were flying. To my knowledge, Planet Lord was the first to discover this. This will actually turn out to be completely wrong, but the first person to find it is a pretty interesting story. We'll touch on that more later, but for now, back to the video. And used it to trap and troll players, with everyone being super confused on what was going on, and some people even accusing him of hacking. What? 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 You guys are hacking, what? After Planet Lord's video, this glitch was heavily popularized, causing chaos in public and private servers with many people abusing this glitch. Surprisingly, this glitch has been around for years, going back to very old versions but interestingly it's only been discovered recently this glitch doesn't only have the capability to make you fly but as you might have seen in the intro this glitch can allow you to jump 200 blocks in a second teleport players into traps survive the void and so much more but if this glitch only allows you to pause your game how would that make you be able to do all this stuff well the answer is actually simpler than you might think Essentially, while you're paused doing this glitch, any outside force affecting you will only affect you after you unpause. So if someone starts hitting you while you do this, when you unpause, all of the knockback from the hits will combine into one big hit back. I think you know where I'm going with this. So if you build a TNT cannon, activate it, pause your game, and then get one of your friends to destroy it, you can do this. <laughs> what the f- What the f- What? The f Bro! This glitch is pretty crazy, but is it really the most game breaking? Over the history of the game, there have been hundreds and even thousands of glitches. So what are the chances that this is really the craziest one? For example, there's a glitch that makes you invincible, which could be the most game breaking. To do this, you go on a boat, log off and back onto the server. And when you do this, you're in this weird limbo position where the game is confused if you're in the boat or not, letting you walk around freely while taking zero damage. Basically letting you walk off cliffs while also being completely undetectable, as everyone else would just see you afk in a boat the best part is if you press shift you get teleported back instantly the only issue is you can't break or place blocks while performing it it's still a very cool glitch and could be used to spy on people without them knowing but it's definitely not the most game breaking Another glitch that also gives you mortality was discovered a few years ago on 2v2t, a server with no rules. Here, a few players gathered to make one of the biggest lag machines in history, and that's all it was supposed to be, until they turned it on. The players near the machine, because of all of the lag, got their hitbox removed, which is a thing that actually lets a player get hit, making them completely invincible and invisible. Having only the name tags above their heads still showing. The issue with this though, is that this was never able to be recreated on any server, and no one really knows why or or how it happened. So if you can't recreate it, it's definitely not the most game breaking. We'll come back to this question later as we can't quite answer it yet, but I think it'd be fun if we saw what Planet thought, the original person who found the glitch. All right, so I I'm making this video about like the, the glitch, you know, that you discovered. And I wanted to yeah. ask like, first of all, just like, how did you find it? I didn't discover it. Someone, someone on PvP Legacy showed it to me and I was like, whoa. And then I use it to like troll people by doing like a spleef map and then I just float in the air. And it was really funny. And I was like, wait, what if I do more with this? I mean, I feel like people kind of knew about it, but I kind of was the first to find out like the huge things you can do, like the boat and stuff. That was pretty cool. So Planet Earth wasn't the first to find this at all, and it was surprisingly already known beforehand. But since there's almost no documentation of it, no one actually knows who the original person who found it was, except me. After doing some more research, I realized that this glitch has been documented beforehand, and that before is four years ago. On July 9th, 2018, someone by the name of MLGMC uploaded a video. In it, he claims that We're gonna be using a glitch I just found out. We don't really have a way of confirming if he found it by himself or from another video, 
So I decided to try to contact this person, and he hasn't uploaded for years. Yeah, that's not happening. I tried to dig a little deeper, but to no avail. So at least for now, MLGMC is the first person to find this glitch and document it, at least in Minecraft. What do you think it actually, like, what actually makes it happen? Because it's like such a simple and weird glitch. I did some research, it's like a Windows thing. So it's like, it happens in like basically every game that you can tab out of. Like, it happens in like, you can do it in like Roblox too. That's where it's actually more popular. But I guess nobody just knew that much about it in Minecraft, so... Yeah. Yeah, because that, that like little bar is in a lot of games. Exactly. It's like a Windows exploit. It basically freezes like all the code. So it's like you just, everything just freezes. Yeah, I got you. So I'm guessing this just couldn't be patched, right? Yeah, it can't be patched. Oh, wow. That's cool. The glitch not being able to be patched might not seem like a big deal, but it is. This means that the glitch will stay in the game forever, whether Mojang wants it or not. And after it getting popular in Minecraft, people might try it in even more games and it could potentially spread everywhere. From what you showed in the video, you showed like jumping super high or whatever, like floating and teleporting with the boat thing. There's a lot of like, it's so weird. I haven't even covered like most of it. Like there's so many weird little things that I found when I was testing. Like I would literally test for like hours. Like I was obsessed bro. I would, I would force my friends to get on. I, I can make a whole video about just like testing. Like you, you you can't close up the box or else it doesn't work. There's just so many little thingies that happen. It's really interesting. Is there any one of those specific ones that you thought was really cool? There's there's this cool one where you can use a fishing rod and it can also send you flying. But the fishing rod is cool because it's like it works in a way that you wouldn't expect. Because sometimes I would launch like 100 blocks or like 500 blocks in the air. Sometimes it just wouldn't launch. Yeah, I actually tested with the fishing rod and like it really didn't work a lot. So that's interesting. Did you do it from above? Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, you got that's the weird thing. You got to do it from below. So when you do it from above, Minecraft thinks you're pulling from below. Low, and that's why it like moves you three blocks when you do it from oh, below that makes sense. it pulls you up and that's the weirdest thing so if you stand below someone and like spam it it'll send you flying it's really weird wow yeah that's cool funny enough a few hours before this interview me and elemental tried the same thing with the fishing rod but as i said it never worked since this glitch has so many weird requirements maybe it has some uses that we haven't found yet meaning it has a lot of potential also remember that other glitch i talked about a bit ago well when we were testing we managed to combine the planet look glitch and that glitch but the boat decent glitch which lets us make our boat float while on our screens we aren't even in the boat wait you're still floating what? what do you in mean? the boat! Don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh. I'm moving! What do you mean? You're in the boat flying! Wait! You were, you were flying! I took a screenshot! Oh shoot, bro! I think I just mixed the two glitches, bro. The cool thing about this is that normally when you're frozen, you can't see anything. But when combining the two, you could be frozen forever and see everything. Speaking of Elemental, I wanted to mention that I'm in a sub race with him to 10,000 subs. And we passed him with our last video but he's catching up quick. So if you want to help me out, subscribe. Also, a ton of people always ask me where I get my music. So I put an affiliate link in the description where I make sound in Artlist, where I get all my songs. All right, back to the video. So what do you think this like is actually going to like imply? The glitch is like so simple to do. And as, as you said, like it can't really be patched. Is this really going to be just like a thing that's going to stay in the game and people are going to like get used to it and do it all the time? Or do you think it's just gonna like um, fade away? I think on SMPs, it's like a cool little thing you can do to prank people, but it's not really practical. Like the boat thing, it took a lot of time to set up. And unless you have like a friend, it also doesn't really work. I think the only use of it is to like prank people. It's just kind of a funny thing to do. So it's just not as uh, useful as some other stuff. What do you mean some other stuff? Like some other glitches you mean? Yeah. I've waited long enough to say this, but how do you actually perform the glitch? Well, it's actually more simpler than you might think. Have you ever seen this little bar? It's in almost every program and it's used to move your windows around your computer, but in Minecraft, it has a special feature. This. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, right? But by doing this, I actually just performed the glitch. I'm not completely paused simply by clicking one button. You can do everything that I've shown in this video with a click of a button. It's a pretty crazy glitch, and while it has been around for years, it's pretty crazy how not many people knew about it until now. This glitch is definitely pretty crazy, but how will it affect the general game? Because of everything you can do with it and how simple it is to do, maybe people will get accustomed to this being in the game and use it to their advantage. Maybe servers will ban the glitch and make it inaccessible, or maybe Minecraft itself will find a way to remove it. Maybe new strategies will be developed and pausing a mid-fall or teleporting will become a usual thing. Or maybe not. And this glitch will slowly fall into the mountain of Minecraft's most game-breaking glitches. Here's a similar video I made about a glitch that lets you clutch with nothing in your inventory. It's pretty cool. 